Mark Savage is here and I am at the British Motor Show in Farnborough. Everything in this, loads of pictures, Mike Brewer, Fuzz, Townsend, you name it, it's going to be in this video. Mike Brewer, what a legend, really good to meet him, what a legend. This was his wife and the guy from Motor Pickers. I kept recognising, I thought, I know that guy, and there he was. Really tall guy, makes me look tiny. Tim Shaw, nice guy. And Fuzz wanted to meet him. Really knows his stuff, he does. Me and the wife, come on, had to put that in there. This was his little stand, he had his wife's in the background. She was a really nice woman, spoke to her a couple of times. And that was on his show, wasn't it? A wheelie dealer, he did that van up. And he was the outside of the British Motor Show. They did an auction, Fuzz and Tim were doing this auction on eBay and getting people up and giving things away. Beautiful car, and these are the cars now, Ferrari. You know, I'm not the best with cars, but these just looked great. If you look at the side, you can see how much they all were. I tried to get them in the pictures as well, like £279,000. Amazing, 414. I mean, all Ferraris, they just looked absolutely astonishing. And this one was, I don't know what this was now, 700? I can't see it now. Look better on did it, there's another 414. Nice colour though. Another beautiful one. Bit of F1. Well, someone will correct me there, but they're all like F1 cars to me. Another beautiful car, 739,000 pounds. And that's definitely, isn't it? It could be F2, F1, I don't know, but Red Bull. Another beautiful car, they're not coming up in order. That's bugging me a little bit, because I had them in order. That's what's throwing me out. It's obviously this beautiful collection, and these were beautiful motors. Yep, they're all out of place, so that's annoying, and you can't even read that one. Even more annoying. <laughs> but Ferraris, they were. That's an iconic collection. Some of these, you know, you couldn't get near them, but just mortgage money, you know, houses. Beautiful coupe. DB12. A lot of people were actually sitting inside them. Maybe I should have done that, I suppose. I didn't want to get too rude. Some of them are just, you wouldn't, you wouldn't believe what just gorgeous cars. Obviously, Bentley, Rollers, you name it, it was there. I just had two shots of that, it was so nice. Again, just a beautiful car. Pretty sure it's another Ferrari, is it? Someone gonna correct me? Again, just so nice. Bit more vintage. There was all different paddocks around. This was an engine and that was actually originally in this, this huge car that was beside it here. Again, I don't know what they were. I should have read up, there's so many people there. Porsche. This car I watched on Car Wow, where um, a guy, uh, Matt Watkins, he rode this, drove it, should I say, up the road. It was just phenomenal. The fans on the back, he did burnouts on it. It was just so fast, whipped his ears off, literally beautiful. Another F1 car. They're really much, a lot bigger than you think they are. I know the new series 2023s are shorter, but they're massive motors. And again, I just randomly took lots and lots of pictures of just some beautiful cars. Obviously, an AMG Mercedes. I knew that one straight away. But they're all on display. You can get in them. You can have a look around them. Just don't maul them, I think people will say. Lovely inside some of these motors were. Not great with voiceovers, Emma. I've never sort of done this before. I should have chatted. I was going to do videos while I did them. This was at the side of um, Fuzz and Tim, um, obviously, when they were on the stage. And this was giving away little plastic paper helmets and so on. And yeah, some of these, I just wanted to pick, take a picture of what the underneath some of these Caterhams and motor cars are. Had to get a couple of American Dodge. I was wearing the old t shirt, so ah, that's not in order at all, is it? It was supposed to be another couple of Dodges and. Couple of there. They're at the back of them now, you can see. These cars were racing around on the video. This is part two, obviously. That's better. The other Dodge, that's a Ford. But yeah, they do look nice. 
This my job on was one. This was a setup when I met Mike Brewer before he was on the stage. And there he is there talking to these guys and so it was raining as well, obviously. These guys have got their beautiful cars out there skidding around. Pretty amazing. Different shows and different parts of it, so it's around a different canopy. It was still raining outside. These were all for um, auction, these were all different lots and their guide prices like one to two thousand pounds, some four to seven thousand pounds. I think this was between five and nine thousand pounds. Little beep beep. Um, there was a lot of them. I do admire them, but you know, they've got tons of engines, you know, 35 mile an hour. Trans Am. So these all up, so they're Peugeot. What's this in front of it? 308 or whatever it was, Peugeot. And this was the outside lot. Just started to dry up, to be honest with you. Then the sun came out. It was absolutely gorgeous. A little bit of sunburn. Shouldn't be in the sun really at present minute. This guy was amazing. Really got this is a one of one. He was really telling me a lot about it. There's uh, all different stuff. There's a blue calipers. Nava's got this. That's a one of one inside again, completely separate to any other car, completely original. Um, even with a show's plate, Marcy's above there. And it was a 65. He's saying it didn't do a, a plate on it, but it was definitely a 65. This was a nice Mustang. They're not in order. This is really annoying. But it's a Mustang, flared arches, again, a one off. And that was the side bit, GTS 700. Beautiful, and they were just uh, you know, you just can't credit how many gorgeous cars there were because it was raining and it stopped people running around cleaning them all, you know, frantically trying to get them all clean again. It was a bit, you know, you felt sorry. I've been in a few car shows before and you're rubbing around, but they keep doing it, um, just to keep them really clean. And there's hundreds of thousands of pounds worth of cars here. Uh, you just you know, you can't credit how much is here and some of the love and attention that's gone into these engines. Just absolutely phenomenal. Uh, not, I'll try and not be rude and get in the cars, but get some nice shots. As you walk around the back of the show, a big huge duck there was, but these are their cars on the main at the back. You can never look at all these ones. That's a DS, isn't it? The first car that had the lights that moved as you turned. All cars got it now. Yep, had to get a couple of dollies, two CVs. Never owned one, don't really want to. Big duck again, though. <laughs> don't know what the duck was about. I really don't. And while it's got 007, I'm sure someone will tell me. These are Heralds and... Oh, there was Rover P's, P's, 5 P7s. I don't know. That was a Jimny. I didn't want to take a damn Jimny. A big old Rover. My neighbour had one of these many years ago. And the Rover section. Beautiful. You get a lot of love and attention to keep them that way. Because they just rusted to death. Don't ask, but there was a load of, it's nearly army barracks and all the shot. There's loads of armies. You ready? And it's not in. <laughs> You're going to get a picture of it in a second. It's a rally cars. And this was just phenomenal. How much care, time, you know? There's nothing that was all dipped, the engine parts. Just absolutely phenomenal. There you go. That was supposed to be three shots ago. The tank. An AA section. You know, it was quite nice to see all these different motors with it. AA and... And the other side, I didn't even know there's some motorbikes. I mean, these are Harleys, you know, whatever they are. So, Yamaha, so, someone tell me. But it was nice to see the yeah, electric AA. That's a bit funny, isn't it? This is a hydro, hydro dip, as they call it. Look at under this engine. How much time and effort? Is it too much? Is it hot wheels? Don't know, but hell of a lot of time and effort goes into that. And again, gold wings. Never understood them. Had to get a couple of Mondeos. Another beautiful car. Again, so much detail. Lots of words on some of these. That woman there was poking the engine and rubbing it. I'm like, what are you doing? Stop touching stuff. And this was like playing football with cars bashing in. This was the side before we went into this little place here. Um, so much there, you know. I did download the app. There's an app you can download and see where everything is, but it didn't make much sense because I couldn't get bloody Wi Fi signal. <laughs> but, you know, that's what it is. I do like finding things out for myself, but again, some of these are just beautiful cars. You can really admire the time and effort. It goes into keeping them on the road like this. It's 
Sí. Beautiful colours. You know what I'm there? I can't tell you what they are. This is throwing me because this was a different section I had here. A little bit of American Motors. If it's in order that I remembered it, it would have been alright. Hell of a mini. <laughs> Again, yeah, it's throwing me completely. I am chatting now. This was beautiful. Uh, this is what I thought a truck. The old ones. Look at inside. You know, Lou said to me, you should do your truck up like this. Right, how much do you think I've got? But then I suppose I could do a seat up at a time. They were, this was just another section. I don't know what the, the boat bits at the back. It was a Daimler or Rolls Royce again. But there was a whole group of them all doing wrapping and then doing the interior of the cars. But you know it's going to be a lot of money. Yep, a mini one. Tut tut, tut tut, tut tut, I don't know what they call them. Daft little things. Yep, there was a little bit of motorbikes. Not many motorbikes, if I'm honest with you. I kept looking at Lou and I had to move away from the motorbikes. And that is a mini, a hell of a mini. Gull wings as well. Come on. An RS had to take a picture of this one. And yep, yeah, there you go. This is a really nice guy. Still two and a half litre, but it's all been tuned. I wonder about the cam, which wasn't done. And there's the little minivan. Had to go beside it and a couple of pictures. That was on the wonk. But this was going to be the main one I was going to put up. There we go. It was cool. It was just really cool. Yeah. Not bad at all. There you go. 